uh, years and years ago, I used to grow mushrooms in, and I grew them by my own method, naturally, in jars. And uh, I would have waste rye infected with jars, and uh, I mean jars infected with mycelium permeated rye, and I would put it out on the back porch at night, or I did once. And I awoke in the middle of the night to this terrific racket, and there were raccoons on the back porch. They could smell the rye infested with the psilocybin containing mycelium. They could unscrew the lids and plunge their mitts <laughs> into this stuff. And, and as I turned on the lights, I saw these little bandit faces <laughs> with these mycelial crumbs on their little upturned muzzles. And they didn't, uh, they, don't, they wouldn't back off. <laughs> They would, and the other thing was they were standing up on their hind legs. So they were standing on their hind legs, holding a jar, holding the stuff, and tottering toward me. So um, I just took one look and backed off. And for the rest of the evening, you could tell that they were approaching uh, the orgiastic boundary uh, because the carrying on, the sexual squeaking and squealing and thumping and pounding going on in the back yard was just incredible. So, uh, you know, they, they might be interesting test animals uh, to put through this.